Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, we're going to talk about an easy way to find settings to get started on any resin printer. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so you got your resin printer set up, your test print just completed, what do you do now? My advice is to grab the settings from your test print because you know those worked and because they're usually a really good base for you to start and build from. So finding those settings is actually really easy. You're just going to open up your slicer and then bring in the test file that was on the USB drive that came with your printer. If for whatever reason you guys didn't get a USB drive or your USB drive is bad, you can usually find the test files on the printer manufacturer's website. And then, like I said, you're just going to bring that test file into your slicer. Now, you want to make sure you're grabbing the file that's already been sliced, so it won't say STL. STL is just the basic file that you can bring in and add your settings to. You want to find the one that's already been sliced for your printer. So you're just going to drag and drop that in. And now you can see the settings that were used for the test file on the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. However, you'll notice the bottom layer count is missing. I would recommend using a bottom layer count of 6 to start with, but if you really want to know what the test was using on most printers while the test is running, you can actually hit the gear icon and then it'll give you that information. And that's it. Like I said, these are really good settings to start from, and then you can fine tune them as you move forward. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support the channel, you can find a link to my Patreon down below. Alright, let's go print something. Mm -hmm. 